we have been here. Well, I came. I was called at around 6 p.m. last night with a situation where it was trying to contain the fire from spreading. But that was very difficult because of water pressure. We didn't have a lot of water pressure. Without the water pressure, the trucks don't get enough pressure to push the water as far as you would like it to go. So we went and we um, put in the dump pump to help contain the fire from spreading to the shrap, the shrap, the shrap, shrap yard where they um, crushed the different vehicles because we didn't want there to get um, catch a fire because they have different gasoline, oil, and all those type of um, um, fossil um, stuff there. And at the moment, we are, we, we are containing it from spreading. One area we have to leave, we have left burned out because we have shortage of personnel, fatigue, and those things. But the most important thing is to contain it from spreading to the junkyard. And that's what we are busy with now. But we still have an issue with water pressure. And, yeah, there's not much that can be done about that because GB lost a couple of its tanks during Irma. So that's still a problem. It remains a problem for some time. But we're doing the best we can with the tools that we have at the moment. understand from the Prime Minister earlier this morning there is a collaborative effort between yourself and the French side. Can you confirm? Well, we were looking into requesting assistance from the French side. But then you still come up with a problem pertaining to water because they would also have to go to refill the trucks and that would take time. So we are looking at a moment to see how best we can, before we request their permission, if it will be conducive to do so. Because if we request their permission, then we have them here. But if they can't get water also, then it doesn't really make any sense at the moment. So we are looking into how best we can go about that right now. I was discussing it with my team, and we're still busy looking into that. Fire but Chief, will, yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, but we will, we will be on contact the friend side to ask them, if necessary, to assist us. Because right now we have water trucks that we have, that we receive from um, landlords during Irma, that we have pendling water. But because of the low water pressure, it takes longer to fill them and to return to the scene. So that would also generate a, a problem if you have more trucks sucking water. It also slows down the process of filling the trucks. So it will cost more time to fill trucks. And then we don't know what the situation is with GB with the amount of water that they have in the tanks at the moment. So all of those are things we are looking at. And we have to make some calls to finalize and see how we go about it. Okay, so from the for the for the last twenty less than twenty four hours that you've been dealing with the situation, um, have you seen some type of progress in dealing with the fire itself? Well, yes, we okay. have seen a lot of progress because the amount of the, the sea of the sea of fire that we had last night when I left well, I left around two thirty this morning, and, um, and the, the amount of um, fire that was there at that time has been cut down. Mm-hmm has been um has dropped back Mm -hmm. so we have a lot of smoke now because of the certain areas that are burning out and then on a far distance close to the pond where it's very difficult for us to get there is also burning but that can't really go anywhere where it's um will cause harm to any buildings or also so we are leaving that right now and focusing on the area where we have the cars where they have they crush the metal, the cars, and those things. I'm um, just, uh, it, it would be remiss of me not to ask this question, um, but has it been identified what started it? No, that has not been identified as yet. Um, and that is, um, that would have to be an investigation, would have to be done by the police force because they have the trained personnel, they have the investigative department for that. And they are the ones that are authorized to carry out those type of investigations. Do you have any idea what could possibly be fueling it um, or could have fueled it from yesterday? Well, it's a lot of debris from Irma. So you can have any, 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 kind of, uh, any type of stuff between there. You can have aluminum, you can have wood, paper, you name it. Mm-hmm. It can in be in between because it's, it's a dump. So you have just about anything. We heard um, explosions which can come from gas canisters, 
So you have just about everything here. Fire Chief, um, before we close off, any advice you want to get passed to the general public in regard to dealing with the situation, especially with the smoke bellowing right now and, 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 and houses and homes living downwind of the fire? Uh, we like to advise everybody to keep their doors and windows closed and stay out of the smoke as much as possible. If, you're not, if it's not really necessary or very important to be anywhere where the smoke is, to try and avoid that and stay out of the smoke because um, you never know what is burning in there. It can be chemicals, it can be any, 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 anything. So the best thing for your health is to stay out as much as possible, stay out of the smoke.